At Suicide Prevention Australia, our ambition is for a world without suicide. And to get there, all governments across Australia must be on the road to reform. The first stop on the road to reform involves government and the community working together to prevent suicide. Having a whole of government approach to suicide prevention means that every part of government should play a role in reducing distress and suicide in our communities. Because suicide isn't just a mental health issue, government needs to coordinate funding and build suicide prevention policy into their decisions about housing, employment, and how to help people build healthy relationships and social connections. Government is already heading down this road with the appointment of a National Suicide Prevention Advisor who is exploring options for a whole of government, whole of community approach to suicide prevention. At Suicide Prevention Australia, we're hoping those options will include a Suicide Prevention Act, so that there's accountability for suicide prevention, and a permanent National Suicide Prevention Office, so that suicide prevention continues to get the attention it deserves. The next signpost is accurate, reliable data about suicide and suicide attempts. Suicide is a difficult issue to talk about, but we need to know more about the suicides and suicide attempts that do happen and in real time. A suicide register means we have accurate, reliable, rapid information about every suicide and suspected suicide that happens. This information helps government, people working in suicide prevention and the wider community understand why suicides occur and how to prevent them from occurring in the future. New South Wales, Queensland, Tasmania and Victoria already have suicide registers in place, but we need South Australia, Western Australia and the ACT to build theirs. We need every state and territory to have a suicide register to collect and report data in real time for emergency departments and first responders to do the same and for the Commonwealth Government to help them to get there. We also want to see the Commonwealth Government coordinate and bring together suicide data in a way everyone in the community and suicide prevention sector can understand. The last stop on our road to reform is workforce, which involves everyone who could have a role in preventing suicide. Because suicide isn't just a mental health issue, we need government to develop a standalone suicide prevention workforce strategy to address recruitment, retention and training for clinicians such as doctors, nurses and allied health professionals, the formal suicide prevention workforce such as first responders, the lived experience peer workforce, people working with those bereaved by suicide, counsellors and social workers and also the informal suicide prevention workforce, which takes in government employees, social services or community-based organisations and any workplace where people at risk of suicide might present. So while we've made great progress on the road to suicide prevention reform, there's still some way to go. That's why Suicide Prevention Australia will continue to voice the need for change in order to save lives.